I love the way they glide through the water, Stinky. So gentle, they are gentle giants. They are and so majestic. Yes, oh, I did. Oh, it's the poppets. Hello, my little poppets, mums and dads, and welcome back to story time once again. Well, Stinky and I were flipping through our photo albums this morning, having a little trip down memory lane, I suppose you could say. And Stinky's favourite photos, we've been to many, many places and had many, many wonderful adventures. But one of Stinky's favourite places in the whole world is the museum. And he particularly liked the great big blue whale. As you walk in through the entrance to the museum, there's a wonderful big blue whale there at the very front. And Stinky stood there in absolute awe at the size of this wonderful, wonderful beast. And they really are magnificent animals, aren't they, Stinky? Yes, they are. What's that? You'd like to swim with a blue whale. Oh, Stinky, you look tiny up against a blue whale. Dear, what a sight that would be. A tiny little mouse swimming with a blue whale. Oh, that would be wonderful, though, wouldn't it? Yes, I would like to see that, actually. Well, speaking of whales, my dear pockets, today's story time cake, a wonderful story time cake with lots of sprinkles on top, Thank you, Stinky dear. And there's a blue whale there on the very top there. And what a very happy blue whale. He looks stinky. Yes, he's got a great big smile on his face. A very happy whale. And of course, today's story is called, my dear poppets, Whale in the Bath. And thank you, Stinky dear. Whale in the Bath. Well, imagine that, Stinky. Imagine having a whale in the bath here. What's that? He wouldn't fit. No, he wouldn't fit. Oh, there'd be whale hanging out all over the bath everywhere. That would be a funny sight, wouldn't it? What's that? He might swim off the drain. Oh, yes. Well, I hope not. I don't think I'd like to have a whale in the bath. No, I wouldn't like that at all. Well, Stinky, you get nice and comfy, dear, and we'll crack on with today's story, all right, then? Yes. What's that? You want a kiss before story time? Oh, you can have a kiss. One, two, and three. Oh, Stinky, oh! you're a wonderful boy you really are oh I love having a snuggle with you dear I really do well get comfy and we'll crack on with the story all right then yes good boy oh you're a precious pet you really are a precious boy my wonderful stinky and today's story a whale in the bath and this does look like a cracker I have to say and here we go my dear poppets tonight there was a whale in our bath he was using my bubble bath. There's a handsome young man there on the very front page and he has a whale in his bath. I wonder how on earth it got there. I do not know. Yes, what a dreadful shock you would have if you walked in the bathroom and saw a whale in your bath. You could have knocked, he said. I'd never seen a whale in our bath before. I wanted to ask where he came from. I wanted to ask how he got there. You're using my bubblegum bubble bath, I said. And there's the whale there, great big blue whale, and he's talking to the boy while he's in the bath. Well, perhaps the whale likes bubble bath. Obviously he does, and bubblegum bubble bath at that. That would smell wonderfully sweet, I think. I don't like it, said the whale. Oh, he doesn't like it. I was wrong. Have you got any that smells like krill? What's krill, I asked. Krill's my favourite food, he said. And shut the door. You're letting out the heat. Well, he's a dreadfully rude whale. Oh, he's very direct. He's saying, shut the door. You're letting out the heat and making the bathroom very, very cold. Well, my dear poppets, what on earth is this boy going to do with a whale in his bath? My sister Allie was watching TV. Mum told you to get in the bath, Bruno. I can't, I told her. There's a whale in our bath. Mum shouted, Allie, Bruno's telling lies and he's not having a bath. I'm not telling lies, he says. Well, he's not, is he? There is a whale in the bath. That's absolutely true. But how it got there is a mystery. We just don't know how he got there. Perhaps Stinky's right. Perhaps whales can swim up the drain pipe. I don't know. Last week you said there was a bear under your bed, said Ally. On Dad's birthday there was a walrus in the backyard. You're always making things up. Oh, well apparently he's always making things up. 
and there's a walrus there on the on the page look at that all these different animals how marvelous imagine that going out and seeing a walrus in the backyard or a bear under your bed what a nasty surprise Ali, stop telling tales, Mum said. Bruno, get in the bar. I stopped upstairs and banged on the bathroom door. Well, he's back upstairs again, and he's knocking on the door because he's hoping that if he knocks on the door, the whale might be a little bit friendlier. I don't know whether he will. He seems like quite a cranky whale to me. I just don't know. The whale was scrubbing under his flippers with Dad's back scrubber. I frowned at the whale. I have to have my bath. I haven't done my tail yet. Come back later. He squirted in more bubble bath. Oh, good Lord, he's put more bubbles in the bath. And that whale is not going anywhere. No, he's quite content to stay in the bath. What a rude beast he is. Although he is having a wonderful time scrubbing away with all those wonderful bubbles. My brother loves science and his room is always full of rockets and robots and switches and tubes. Pete, there's a whale in our bath. A whale can't fit in a bath, said Pete. Even a baby whale would be too big and there'd be no room for the water. It's just impossible. I sighed, then I asked, hey Pete, what does krill smell like? But Pete was busy again. I wandered back to the bathroom. Well, Pete is of absolutely no use at all because he's too busy with his gadgets and tubes and rockets and robots and he's not interested about hearing about the whale in the bath and he just doesn't believe it. I'm still washing my back, said the whale. Can't you wash in the ocean, I asked. Well, now the whale's doing some sort of back there in the bath. It must be an enormous bathroom. I don't know how he could be jumping like that around, but he is jumping about, splashing away in the bath. Yes, that poor boy is going to get squashed if he doesn't get out of the way. No hot water in the ocean, said the whale, and no bubble bath or soap or washcloths. But you're taking ages, he says. I'd be quicker if you had a bigger bath. I feel like I'm washing in a bucket. I'm sure it does feel like that for the whale. He flicked bubbles at me. Come back later. And there he is there, the great big enormous whale in the tiny bath. And he's having a very awkward time trying to get washed. No, it would not be easy for that whale in the bath. Not easy at all. Dad was home when I went downstairs. He put down his suitcase and threw me up in the air. Dad, there's a whale in our bath. A whale? Wow, Dad laughed. How did it get there? Was there a flood today and the whale got stranded? Or did it just swim up through the plug hole? Oh, see, up through the plug hole. I was very close. I don't know, but I can't have my bath. Up you go, Bruno, said Dad. It's bath time. I'll be coming to check in five minutes. But Dad, now Bruno, says Dad. And there's Dad and he's not having any anything to do with this whale nonsense. And he's telling him to go and have a bath. I wonder if Dad will see the whale, I don't know. Perhaps he will. Right, I said to the whale, you've had a really long bath and it's my turn now. No, said the whale, rinsing his barnacles. I'll be at least another hour, maybe four, but I'll get in trouble. I have to have my bath. The whale looked at me and smiled. I have an idea. And there he is, the boy, still trying to talk the whale into getting out of the bath, but he's not having any luck. No, he doesn't seem to want to budge. He's enjoying that bath too much. And the whale took a long, deep breath. And there's the whale and the boy. And the whale is taking a very big, deep breath indeed. I wonder what's going to happen. I don't know. What on earth is going to happen? Whoosh! And there's the whale and he has shot water out of the top of the little hole, the blow hole on the top of his head and the water is going everywhere. But perhaps that's the way the boy is going to have a wash. I don't know. That could be it. 
Yes, and there's soap in it and bottles of shampoo and bubble bath flying everywhere. Mum came up to tuck me in. You smell a bit fishy, she said, as she gave me a hug. It's probably krill, I said. Did you have your bath? No, I said. Tonight I had a shower. Mum smiled. Bruno, we don't have a shower. And there's Bruno there, a little bit soggy, holding a rubber duck. And he did have a wash after all, with the whale's help, of course. Yes, although I think Mum still doesn't quite believe him about the whale. But we do have a whale in our bath says his sister and she's walked into the bathroom and there she is confronted with the great big blue whale in the bath. The end and that's called a whale in the bath and what a cracker I have to say. I did enjoy that very very much. Yes a wonderful book indeed. I hope my dear poppets there's not a whale in your book in your bath. Well, we have come to the end of story time once again, so I'll have a chat to Stinky. Did you enjoy that story, dear, about the whale in the bath? You did. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, it's time to say goodbye to the poppets, isn't it, dear? Yes, it most certainly is. Well, my dear poppets, we've come to the end of story time once again. Perhaps you could make a story time cake with a whale on top or read a book about a whale. And as always, my dear ones, until next time, thank you for watching and bye.